Hi, this is Adrian Lee, also known as Addie, over at the uh, Chris Farrell membership site. Um, I am working on the videos for ebooks, the uh, using free tools. I mean, e covers using free tools. I, <laughs> I already got my courses mixed up. Okay, e covers using free tools. Here we go. Um, I'm going to show you this because um, I can see there's confusion, and I would like to um, clear that up a little bit. Okay, so I'm in Paint. And um, as I share in the book, you're going to make a canvas. So you're going to click on this little white thing, this little white pad where it says New. And it already says Height 600, but it says Width um, 800. We're going to change that to 500. So we have a palette or canvas that looks like a book cover. So there we go. Now, um, this, the problem was text outside of two, two different boxes, one with text, one with picture. I don't know how that even happened unless we're talking about your layers here. But this would be the correct way. Let's go into file. Let's just open a picture here. Um, I've been working with, with Liz, so let's choose one of these pictures that we've... Uh, let's just let's choose um, Elmo. So I opened the file. I went over to File and I chose News to get my picture. There's Elmo. He's a ping file. So I'm going to click on Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy. I'm going to go back over here and get my canvas. Back to Edit. Paste into New Layer. Now you, all, you need new layers so that you can add or remove a layer. Now he was up here. I take my mouse. I'm going to pull him to the middle. So over here in my layers, now I have the background and I have Elmo. He's Layer 2. All right, I'm going to make him a little bigger. Okay, there's Elmo. How do you, how you doing, Elmo? Okay. Now I want to paste Elmo there, so I'm going back up to M Edit, and I'm going to Deselect. Okay, so Elmo is there. Um, so let's say this is a book about Elmo. Elmo. This is my my cover. And so let's do um, some text on here. So first thing you have to do in order to add or remove, you want a new layer. So you click on Layers, Add New Layer. Click on the T for text on my toolbar. And I click here. It's in black already. Um, let's make it bigger text. Let's make it 22. Let's make it uh, Comic Sans because he's a cartoon. I click where I want the text. Okay, this I think is a confusion. You're putting the text on your canvas. So let's say, hi, my name is, is what? Elmo. Okay, and now I have this little bar I can grab and move the text. Hi, my name is Elmo. Let's make that a little bigger. So I go up here, let's say maybe 28 will hand. Okay, there you go. My name is Elmo. Now remember the trick I talked to you guys about the other day where I can go into Effects. Here we go, Object. And we're going to go to um, Outline Object. So let's outline Elmo in. Um, he's red. Let's, let's choose red. There you go. Okay. And so you remember we can make that bigger. Let's do that. Say, okay. So there, hi, my name is Elmo. And then um, I want to do some more text, so I'm going to do another layer, add another layer. Because if I want to remove this, my layers are over here, I can unclick them. Okay, and I'm going to show you another trick real fast, too, that I learned as well. Um, but anyway, first things first. So let's click down here and say by Elmo. So Elmo is a book. It's a book by Elmo. For Elmo by Elmo. So let's just center that about right there. Let's go back up to Effects. Let's go to Object. And you can get all these plugins online. And let's just say OK, because that's the same. Here's a very cool thing that I just learned how to do <clears throat> to reposition things. OK, so this layer here, I have to highlight it in blue. I'm going up to this square up here in Tools. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going over to the arrow, click it, and I can move it again. I cemented it, but now I can reposition it. So when I do that, let's put it right back there, and go back up to Edit and Deselect. Okay, so that's how you get the text on the same picture. Here's your book cover. Okay, so now we're going to save this file save as, and you see you can save it as a paint file so that you can work on it again. Okay, 
which is a good idea because then the layers all come back and if you want to change something like if I do an e-cover for somebody and they want to change and I've done it in paint then I can just come back in and change a color a layer or whatever but for your purposes we're going to save it we click down here on this arrow we're saving it as a JPEG we'll call it Elmo we'll save it we'll say OK flatten it and there's your ebook choose that and it doesn't matter what I choose here because uh, we'll just choose black. All right, let's just choose a section. Okay, and uh, we'll just say that crop selection. Now we're in here, and let's just go to um, upload image. I recommend this as the. Um, the best ebook cover creator even if you're paying four dollars a cover three ninety five a cover okay let's find Elmo there it is Elmo here's our book cover open there it is I just put that in place no I don't have questions I pull that down I pull this over pull it over again Okay, and I want to make sure that that's it. that's one thing I don't like about this new version. I can't pull it over and beyond. Okay, so we say yes, and um, that's there. And now let's go to um, insert text. Mm, not that way. There, except I would do it the other way, but that's how you would do it here. My name is Elmo, the name of the book, finalize. That's what I love about my eCover Maker because it's so fast. And there you go. There's your eBook. All right. So now let's go over to the other um, software online that you can use. And then you just you can drag this to size, and then you just um, click here to download it. You can edit it. You can go back in and edit it. Um, and you can put it on a transparent background, which means it would be a PNG file. If you're inputting this into a banner or another piece of artwork, you would want to have the, the book itself with no background for most, uh, most, of, the, most of the time. Okay, there's several ways to make a spline, and I just um, created this to make sure of this tool so I could show you. So let's go into and do another one of these. Click on New Layer. Click on text. Say Elmo's new ebook. Now I want to turn that 90 degrees like that. One of the easiest places I found to do that is in Adjustments and click on um, Advanced Rotation. Again, these are plugins that you can get and see where how I can turn this. I'm see how my text is shifting and turning. Okay, let's bring her back over here. Okay, so here it is right here and okay so it's kinda off the page but um, that's how I'm getting my 90 degree angle okay and we'll just say okay um, so now if I want to move that again remember this trick and put a square around it click the arrow and let's bring it over here I kinda of clipped it over here but that's okay you're gonna be doing this doing it in the center and then click deselect okay so here we have our spline so let's make it a spline so I'm going to take this square again and I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going up to image crop to selection now I have a spline okay, I could crop that even more I'm going to use that as my spline in the um, and that e the, the other ebook software online. So let's go over here to file, save as. It's going to be a JPEG. I'm going to just say Elmo spline. Okay, save. All right, okay, flatten. Let's move out of here. Let's go back here. Book. We're going to create a 3D box we're going to put the spline in this time there we go
Now I can crop this better so that it centers better. Okay, and then I can save it again. I want to show you what you can do. Let's go back to um, this. Let's put some lines on this. Um, so let me go to, and this is a line. Okay, um, let me do a, I'll do that line and I want, here I can make this line really fat if I want. So let's, whoa, big line. Okay, I don't want that arrow, so let's go back to just flat. Okay, I'm going to put a line there. Okay. And I'm going to put, um, oops, let's get that out of there. I'm going to put a line here. I can make this line any size I want. So I can pull it. Yeah, and now let's do it. All right. And let's do a line here. Now these can be really skinny. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Show you that how you can do this, how you can use this. And let's do a line here. Okay. So there, I've outlined the book. <laughs> it looks tacky. Okay. And um, let's just save it again. Save as. <clears throat> JPEG. Let's make this Elmo 2. Save. Okay. Now, let's go back over to our software. Let's go back in here to choose a cover. Let's choose Elmo 2. Mm, I wonder if that's the same Elmo 2. It's got to be. Okay, and let's create the box. This way now, the out, there's going to be an outline that's going to show this side here. This is what's bothering me, that the book is, has disappeared. You can put a little skinny line there just to make it a little bit outlined. You can use lines and forms and shapes in so many ways when you're making a cover. It's really quite wonderful. So there, we've outlined it, and I would probably do the same thing here so that my spline didn't disappear with some kind of lines. And then I can turn it, and then I did have that MLC book cover on the back side, and and then choose what file type style that I want. GIF, ping, again the PNG file type um, is good because then you can just have no background. Okay, guys. So anyway, that's how you do it.